Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Listen, man, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we're gonna be doing some bass fishing. Gonna be catching some big fish. We're gonna have a good time. Got my boy Fletcher. What's going on? Behind the camera. Behind the camera. In front of the camera. I'm in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit back there. Um, today we're going to be doing some bass fishing. We were just talking about it. I have to say that in every episode now because we just started doing some cat fishing. We're going to start doing some other cool things. But um, we're going to catch some big ones today. We're going to be filming a top water video. And we're going to be catching them on some frogs. If we don't end up catching a ton of bass on the frog, I am going to adjust. Because listen, man. I want to show you guys some fish. And I'll throw some different baits. But let me show you guys the place that we're at. Look at this, man. Look at this. Conditions are prime. Oh, they're prime, too. Look at them clouds. It's like, what, like high 70s, mid 70s? Oh, yeah. Overcast? They're going munch. They're going oh, munch. Oh, they're going munch good, bro. I'm ready to get after it. <laughs> One more last thing before we hop on the boat and start smoking some bass. Um, if you guys could, like I said, use hashtag Big Bass Energy on Instagram, man. So listen, man, we're growing the hashtag. We're growing the brand. I appreciate everybody's support. I've been going on there liking a ton of photos. I can't like every single one just because Instagram will honestly ban me. <laughs> I can only like so many at a time. Um, and if you guys want to, check out the merch, kickingtheirbass.com. Link down below if you guys could support the brand, support the channel, support your boy. I appreciate it. But uh, let's go ahead and hop on the boat. Go catch some big fish. I'm so excited for it. I'm ready to get on a top water bite right now. So let's do it. All right, boys. And girls, ladies and gents, maybe out on the water right now. Look at this. We got this old chug, but we're going to cut her off, even though she's been catching some big ones for us. But um, we're going to be putting us on a frog. I just really want to get on a frog bite. Maybe later in the day, if it's not working, maybe we put on the old chug bug and go to work. But this is the frog I got, which is a Vega Frog by Six Cents. If you guys want to get a discount on any Six Cents products, you can use my code. I'll pop it up on the screen. But yeah, we're going to be throwing a white frog today. Surprising because every time in the clouds, I, I usually say I like to throw a black frog, but guess what? This is the one I have today, and I think it's going to work either way. It's a good solid color. These bass are going to be roaming a little bit, so we're going to need to make sure that... Actually, we'll talk about that during the video. I have a really good point about the cloudy cloudiness today in this frog, and we'll make it happen. I'll, I'll discuss that later on in the video. It's going to be a great little fishing tip point throughout this episode so anyways we got the frog right there let's go ahead and get started show you guys what combo i have i got a mach 2 on a mock smash got her on braid obviously and we about to get her started so let's go ahead and start casting can we get a double up right off the bat dude that'd be insane we haven't fished here in a long time no, and the good. top water bite in here it's it's, it's, it's like really good it's really good <laughs> Like if we want to just be completely dead today, like, oh dude, yeah, we just we just messed up. But usually when we come here, the top water bite is uh, spectacular. So Fletcher's throwing a walking bait, which I'm actually Ooh, you have one coming after you. Yeah, I saw that. Oh come on! Oh, he's gonna hit it. He's got to. Let's see if we can double up. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> that was a big one. That was a good one, wasn't it? God, I've never got a good look at him. He looked big. That noise he made was just outrageous. Oh, oh my oh. god, dude, that's a big one, homie. Ain't it? It's gotta be. It's gotta that be. that boil is yeah, nasty. Like homie. <gasps> dude, did you see that hanging out of his mouth? It's yeah. like he didn't want it. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We just have a we have a dinosaur coming after our baits right now. We're gonna get this uh, little stroker crawl in Junebug Red. This is a little thing, guys. When you get topwater bites. Throw in a soft plastic. Usually they'll bite it. Like if you have a top water bite where a fish misses it, get you your soft plastic, throw it on in there, especially with a buzz bait, dude. I've had insane luck throwing this thing. Let's see if he'll eat this. I think that was a big one, homie. Like at least three pounds. Yeah, man, like, it looked like a salt. He was just not committing. Oh my God, I about went head first. <laughs> <laughs> every time we put in on this lake, I almost fall in. I don't know why. <laughs> every time. Something about this place. Let's let's get back to it. What the heck, people? Why didn't you tell me my is my camera blurry? No. Alright? No. Hello plants weren't here. Yeah, they weren't. You see that little wake on the bank right there? Yeah. Or is that you? Yeah, that was a wake. I was about to say he should yeah. clobber it and he freaking dude it was about to come out of my mouth why are they eating like that like he destroyed it 
My bad. I'm not really. <laughs> I didn't even see you, dude, until the last second. My frog is in midair. I was like, oop. All right, we're going to try it one more time because this is such a proven thing in my fishing experience. I, I just, I've done this so many times where I've got a good topwater bite, have my buddy throw a soft plastic in there, and we catch it. So these fish are being really smart. And they won't even eat the soft plastic when you throw it in there. It's weird. You see it easy. It's got that. Oh. There's three bass on it. Oh, dude, dude, they're decent. Toss it in there, toss it in there. Are they still on there? There's no way he'll eat it when we're on top of them. There was like, th there's some I more stuff them. right there. That was crazy. We gotta get it together for Fletcher. It's a horrible skip too. Are you freak out if I caught a fish like that? I'd be insane. I don't even know what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, figure eating bass with your top water reeled all the way up to you. I saw him catch them all, catch a bear Monday doing this. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to get one of those dock bites. Just loud, obnoxious. That was so close. It hit my elbow. Oh my god, dude. I was literally about to tell you today, I said, be careful with how you're walking that thing because it's like right in front of me. Yeah. Dude, that was so close. I When I dunked it, I actually made it worse. I almost hit, like my elbow, look, like I'm bleeding. Oh, did it hit you? Oh yeah, dude, it beamed me. Look. Oh my gosh. No, but like when I went down, my elbow was in front of my face. That was close. I was like pushed off the bank today. Could be. I saw a bunch of them out on that tree and stuff. Like, like why? You, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that was stupid. Like, why go for it if you're just not going to eat it? Like, like he literally put his nose on it and just pushed it over and rolled over the top of it. Oh, my bad. Like... spot in my line and then you throw in a soft plastic and he doesn't eat it yep there you go. i spoke too soon <laughs> he's not big but hey we got one on the board yep that's what matters so what i was talking about on that first fish we tried it with those other two and it just didn't work well this fish rolled on my top water i knew exactly where he was positioned i threw my crawl in there and he ate it it's actually a really small fish but we got to start somewhere and that's a pretty nibbler. pretty guy yep a little tit nibbler i wonder how much sodium's in these baits <laughs> how much sodium do you think's in this you know what about the carbs and protein you know oh gosh oh gosh oh there we go we got him <laughs> that's small <laughs> that's a Oh, <laughs> dude, you about took your own head off there for a sec. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down and jump over to our little flopping bait and see if we can use that a little bit better. I'm not really sure if that's the case. Oh, Get out of that time, and that's a dang good one. Yes. First frogfish, baby. He's not even that big, is he? He didn't eat it bad. I mean, I, I won't say he choked it, but <laughs> that's a pretty fish, man. She and she ate it. Look at that, right in the top of her mouth. I was so afraid when I was going to hook set, I was like, this is really going to happen. Like, it didn't look like he had it all the way. He actually only got one of the hooks. That wind's picking up. That should help. Yeah, but frog bite in the yeah. wind, I don't know. With yours, maybe. Yeah, for me. Pretty little stubby. Stubby little chunky guy. Look at those little black marks on his fin. It's like a green pumpkin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and on his, look. Yeah, he does have a little black spot. Man, this is a green pumpkin bass. <laughs> Pretty little guy. First one on the frog. Let's keep it going. Oh my gosh. All right, there's a fish under that. Yeah. I just couldn't tell if he had it all the way. He took it underwater. 
and I knotted up my line. Of course, right? Oh, that's wonderful. Don't you love that? <laughs> it ain't stopping me. <laughs> I just threw right back in the same spot. Come on, baby. I feel it. Just come on. Oh. Oh. Dude. Oh. This is a good one, too. That is a good one. That was insane, dude. I heard it. I didn't even feel it. <laughs> or not feel it, see it. <laughs> That's how you wanted me to eat it right there. Yo. Lobbered that thing. About a pound and a half. That was incredible. Never moved the bait, bro. Skipped it back there. He ate it on the skip. That was amazing. You couldn't even see anything. It was so far up in the trees, yeah. even if I would tried. That was crazy. I skipped it like oh. 10 foot back in there. Pretty little frog fish. Second one on the frog today. That was so cool. That bite makes up for a lot of those misses right there. Like I literally have a guy that, <laughs> dude, dead, not even kidding. The moment that my video goes up, give it 30 seconds he dislikes the video. <laughs> like this man's life, his whole life is dedicated to waiting on my notification and disliking it. Oh, oh, come, oh. On, come on, come on. Like cheers to him, man, his life might suck. The biggest part of his day is when I post the <laughs> Okay, what is going on, dude? We've probably missed. 20 fish. fish I've caught two on it like you have I don't even think no you caught I one caught you caught one two. or two. Oh, I got one came off in the boat and yeah we've got four fish out of the 25 bites that's uh that's brutal them off. Maybe I'll try that little pulses oh did you see that yeah dude. did you see that he's still under me all right, guys, I, I just made a decision in my head. That's what we're gonna do. I'm tying a freaking chatterbait on. I gotta, I gotta do it to him for a second. I'm gonna go back to the frog, possibly. This is, it's about to go down, Fletcher. Yeah. So we got a white and chartreuse chatter dunk because that one has just been killing it recently for me. That white and chartreuse. Another giant catfish on it. It's a massive cat. It's 20 pounder. I would not complain. I really wouldn't. Oh, that was a. Oh, that dude, he had to give it a little. Why? That was weird. He just kind of like froze. He, he like froze and he was like shaking his head. That was what, like a two pounder? Yeah, man, that was a solid one. He ate it pretty good. I got this big swim bait. I might need to downsize that swim bait. That's what I did on the river yesterday and they were eating it really good. One time I had to... I was fishing with one of my buddies. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Nothing big. Of course, I hooked the smallest one. Look how he ate it. He ate it really good. Yeah, he did eat it good. It's just that they'd eat the top water like that. I don't know. He'd be talking. What? What? Oh. He's got a little black specks too. What's wrong? He got green pumpkin bass. Is it like. What is that, Fletcher? Is there oh. something wrong? Is there like something in this pond that's. I don't know. Is it like, can you wipe it off? Or? No. I don't, I don't know. I hope that's nothing bad, like a virus or something. Smallpox? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. That's second best I saw with that on there. Oh, it came off. So like not, they're not eating. I need, to slow, I need to downsize the swim bait and they're gonna start eating it really good. All right, we're gonna put a lot smaller swim bait on here. I think they're gonna start committing a little better once I do that. These fish are just acting weird today. They're biting, they're just not committing. Look at that little tiny swim bait. We're gonna downsize, see how this affects our bite. Get it back in there. That was epic. That's a really good fish right there. I'm gonna catch one right here. 
parallel on this bank. Magic water is really, really clear right now. Yep, I got them. Oh, you got one? Yep. It's a good one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Dang. Almost the double up. That's a that's good a one. That's a nice little fatty. Oh, yeah, that's probably, that's the probably best. biggest today. Huh? Yeah, I think that's the best one today. No doubt. Oh, Easily. yeah. Almost a three pounder. Sheesh. That's a good one, man. That it's is a beautiful solid. fish. She's long. She's. They haven't been like super filled out. Yeah, uh-uh. I don't -uh. uh -uh. think it's gonna be a little bit. It's a little bit longer. That water temp cool down more. That's downsize right there, guys. And look at that pretty fish. I said it too. I was like, I'm gonna catch one right here, parallel in this bank, staying in that strike zone, and pretty fish. That's a high two right there. Just if he was fatter, he'd probably be oh, a three. That'd be a three all day if it was filled out. That's a good fish. Yeah, when I hooked him, I could tell he's a lot bigger. Now we got some rain coming in. So these fish have been so finicky today, and I switched over this chatterbait just to cover some more water with these clouds. I, you know, was thinking these fish are roaming a lot more today, and we're just slow reeling this chat chatterbait. Pretty basic, slowly reeling it. And right now, what I'm focusing on, see how we're parallel with this bank. I can make that good long cast and stay in that strike zone. If those fish are positioned ten foot off the bank, then that cast right there is going to stay in the strike zone the whole time. That's why throwing this parallel cast are important. It's a little bit better than throwing directly at the bank if you have this fish figured out. But with today with the clouds, I know this fish can really be anywhere roaming up and down this bank or they could be 15 foot off, but hopefully this rain's not gonna come down any harder than this. But I might fire these fish up. Scary clouds around. It's just this one yeah, it's like that one cloud above. <laughs> look, yeah. look over there, it's like, it's like the Weird. one cloud. It's just really trying to do it to us today. I'm gonna start casting out here in the middle too, see if we can catch any of these roamers. There he is. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Chatter Donk is getting some big bites, I will say that. Got a couple small ones at the beginning, but now it's seeming to hook some of the bigger ones. He's just so skinny. That's how every like he has every he has the potential to be a very high two, like very high. It's potential to be a three if he was filled out. Seriously, with his mouth like that. I mean, man, that's a good fish though. Look at the markings on him. So pretty. I mean, that's a two pounder, but if he was filled out, he'd be three. <laughs> Gosh, they're biting it so soft too, man. It's really weird. Starting to get more bites. This rain that just came through. Over here, they seem to like the roam off the bank. Over on. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Dang it. That was one right of the when I cast so the core. He's behind it still. He's behind it still. Yeah, pop it. Oh, he might have stopped. God. That was a good one, dude. That was a that was good, a good one. one. That was easily probably my best one today. Oh. Uh, God, he hit it so hard. He just didn't get a hook in him. He never even hit it. Like I actually get. No, I never felt tension. He just like he just popped it up out of the water. Biddy, I'm pretty sure I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world just? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he got him. <laughs> well, that was a. Uh... Interesting. I think it helped. I think he liked my song there. Yeah. I think bumped. I ain't gonna lie. Dude, he just opened his mouth as I was putting it, pulling it out of the water. And then I saw him kind of go down there. I was like, you know what? Let me just drop it. And sure enough, it's just it's crazy, man. I watched him eat that. Yep. Yeah. There you go. He just dove right over it, baby. Dove right over it. Oh, he's done. Look at him. He's like, I just want to give up. Noah's got me on the on the chat donk. He's done. Oh yeah, baby. Sit. Thank you. It works every time, I swear. <laughs> every time I say sit, they just stop. I swear it's like a dog, bro. They just know. Thank you, buddy. Look at that. It's a pretty little bass. Nothing big. Chatter donk fish. Beautiful one right there. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And guess what? I'll catch you guys in the next one. We have bangers coming out every week, three times a week. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.